Oh, who say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the heart? Performing our national anthem, that was Skylar Cole. And now we'll be back in just a moment. What you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze when these people talk too much, put that heat in slow motion, yeah, I feel like an astronaut in the ocean, I, what you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze when these people talk too much, put that heat in slow motion, yeah, I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. What you know about rolling? Welcome to 2K Sports. What could be better than kicking back on a Sunday afternoon watching the NBA? And our broadcast team tonight, Grant Hill and Steve Smith. Ali LaForce, our reporter. And as teams are grinding through their schedules, let's see how it's going out east. Taking a look at the 76ers. They're in fifth place, right in the middle of the conference. Still time to improve that positioning. And check it out, the Pistons. Far behind in the standings. Just about ready to get this one started. First, let's hear from Allie LaForce. Allie. Well, Kate Cunningham, the top pick in 2021, said, quote, there's a lot of different reasons why I was picked number one, but I think it's just who I am as a person, someone that can turn into a leader for your team and be a franchise guy. I compose myself well, and that translates on the court. I'm pretty confident in what I can do and who I am. Brian? Thanks, Allie. Here in the middle part of the season, Grant, what are the biggest challenges for players? Well, B.A., it's mental, physical, and emotional fatigue. Night in and night out, you have to stay focused. With the amount of games teams play, all those back-to-backs traveling across the country, bringing it every time out can be difficult. Now we'll look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. Up front, it's Tucker at the four, next to Embiid in the middle. Maxi out there with James Harden. And it's Harris in at the three, the small forward. And for Detroit, it's Cunningham and Ivy at the one and the two. Isaiah Stewart out there with Boyan Bogdanovich. And it's Duran in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now here's Bogdanovich. Here's Duran. Shot clock at five. Pass to Ivy. Over Maxi. Ivy shot is off. And the 76ers with possession. Outside Harden. Now Embiid. To the left side wing. For three, Maxi. Duran with the rebound. You have to think with this Piston squad that all eyes are on the future as opposed to the here and now. Young guys focused on reaching their potential. Here's Ivy. Here's Cunningham. He can't hit that time. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Pass to Embiid. Puts it up from 12. Can't get his first shot of the game to fall. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. Cunningham opening close and he drops it in. Where do you see the ceiling for this younger Pistons team as they continue to grow? You know, B.A., it's always difficult to predict the limits of a team. But as long as they continue to steadily develop, they could become a unit with playoff potential. Now here's Harris. Now here's Bogdanovich. And you look at his numbers, just over 21 a game. There's Cunningham with a three. Rebound by the 76ers. This game coming after a loss versus the Bulls. 
<laughs> That's a game they like to put in the rearview mirror. They know they treated it a little too lightly. And obviously, we know that's not how they usually play. But hey, they've got to perform better next time around. Now here's Cunningham. You know, his impact on offense has been terrific. Scoring just around 20 points a game. Pass to Ivy. Cunningham, a screen on Maxi. Here's Ivy. <laughs> And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Well, Grant Ivy gets a lot of attention for his scoring, but he can also lock you down at the other end. Oh, yes, he can, B.A. He's big, active, and athletic, too. A strong on-ball defender as well. He'll also jump passing lanes, causing deflections. He looks to flip turnovers into points. And when you talk about Ivy, his explosiveness really stands out, especially when he's running the floor. And the 76ers call time here. Well, whenever you bring up the 76ers, you instantly think of Joel Embiid. Oh, no question. He's the face of this franchise. Embiid is as good as anyone in the league. Off the floor, Joel is willing to take the blame when things don't go right. That's who you want as a leader. here to see who the top rookie rebounders have been over the last 10 games. And you look at Duran. His dominance on the boards is unquestionable. They've given him the minutes to see what he can do. And he's done a great job helping them control the glass. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Harden against Cunningham. Shoots off the step back, and the jumper is good. The sweet lefty stroke of Harden on display. Such a pure jump shooter. Here's Ivy, Maxi covering. From the arc. Offensive rebound. Duran with the bucket. You have to put a body on Duran. He's quick. He's athletic, and he has that 7-5 wingspan. Harden, the pass to Maxi. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And the improvement of Tyrese Maxi's three-point shot from his first season to second year, just unprecedented. He improved by over 12%, with a huge increase in attempts as well. Shoot two. The first one falls. And for a player with the speed and quickness of Maxi, Grant leveling up that three-point shot changes everything for him. Oh, so true, B.A. It becomes pick your poison with him. And it put him in a conversation last year from most improved player. And the Pistons making a change here. Burks is checked in. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for the Sixers. 
I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Cunningham outside. Pass to Bogdanovich. Stewart, a screen on Harris. Here's Bogdanovich. And too long on the shot. The 76ers have gone one of four to begin this one. Here's Harris. Rebound Detroit. Their last meeting was in Philadelphia, where they were unable to fight off the Sixers. They got crushed the last time they faced this team, and they only have themselves to blame. It was a sizable loss, and it was mostly due to their awful passing and ball control. They just need to use better judgment in this game. Now here's Bogdanovich. He had a 21-point out in their last game against the Spurs in San Antonio. Bogdanovich against Harris. Pass to Maxi. Harrell finds Maxi. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. For Detroit, they've gone only three for nine from the floor. Cunningham outside. We've got 128 left to play in the first. Can't get it to drop. Oh, great D that time from Harrell. He's been off this whole period. Unable to sustain any kind of consistency. Outside Harden. Harris up top. Four on the clock. Good D by Bogdanovich. Probably should have scored there. He usually does. Cunningham outside. Outside Bogdanovich. Back to Cunningham. Works for three. And again, the Pistons missing. The Sixers trailing. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Now here's Burks. Nine points for him in his last game. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Duran, and he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. They're going to work inside. I like how confident Jalen is from this area. Now Harden, 17 points for him. Last game against Chicago. Over Cunningham. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. And so the first quarter is in the books. The Pistons on top, up by five. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. joining us we played through one quarter of action so far all right guys looking at what we've seen from the pistons what do you think yeah, just excellent first quarter defense they've been really getting after it. yeah they were very physical and very aggressive they've just been the better team so far you know one expression you hear from a lot of coaches nowadays threatening drives what's the value of breaking the paint B.A., dribble penetration is so important, particularly in today's yeah. game. With the spacing and the great shooting on the perimeter, if you can get to the paint, one, you may score at the rim, but if the defense collapse, now you have an opportunity to find an open shooter from three. So on the floor for Philadelphia to kick off the second quarter. Daniel House out there with George Niang. Then it's Joel Embiid. Then there's DeAnthony Melton. And it's Milton in at the one. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Well, guys, the Pistons focusing on improving their scoring. Coach Dwayne Casey said, quote, this is an offensive league. In today's game, you've got to be able to shoot the three because you can't make enough twos to win. It's tough to defend the three, so you've got to keep that scoreboard moving. Back to you. Floor spacing at a premium, Allie. Thank you. And Philadelphia has possession. After the Pistons picking up a basket just moments ago. Niang a screen. Late clock. The Sixers need to put one up here. Off the mark there with a three. The Pistons leading. Pass to Hayes. And we played just over a minute of basketball in the second quarter. Going inside. Here's Ivy. 
And no good trying to use the glass. Now Philadelphia with it. You know, in the past several seasons, there's been one constant with the 76ers. They're going to be among the best defensive teams in the league. Here's House. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Pass to Embiid. Second quarter, a little over a minute and a half in. A sequence you might expect from Embiid, an elite rebounder, and the man knows how to finish. To the paint. Here's Bagley. And it's blocked by Embiid. Milton against Hayes. Now here's Embiid. Shoots over Bay. Embiid misses. The Sixers' identity really does center around their defense. It's so true, B.A., and they've done a great job playing to their strengths. That's the key for any contending team. Maximize your players' talents. Philly has done that as well as anybody. Now here's Hayes. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against San Antonio. And had a high number of steals. Just a ball hawk, striking fear into the opponent. Quality pass from Sadiq Bey, recognizing the overcommitment and making the D pay for it. The 76ers have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Screen by Embiid from deep. Melton. It's Hayes with the rebound. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Pass to Ivy. Stewart inside. Niang's there. Bagley passes to Bay. Bagley sets a screen. Hey, no good. Defensively, it's hard to account for everything. They gambled off him, and it worked. Here's Embiid. Here's House. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. That one falls. His second make in five attempts. The control and focus from Embiid. Able to absorb hits from the defense and still finish. Here's Ivy. Melton covers. Pass to Hayes. The floater. Rebound by the 76ers. Embiid's got six rebounds here tonight. And last season's scoring champion, Joel Embiid, the first center to lead the league in scoring since Big Shaq way back in the 2000 season. Melton outside. From downtown. Gets it to go. That makes him two for three in this game. You can't discount Embiid's value as a passer, that vision and court awareness. These are traits a team loves to have in a big man. Now a timeout called by Detroit. for the 76ers and now a peek at some of the players competing for a spot in the dunk contest all of them true dunk artists who can do some spectacular things in the air and I can't wait to see what these guys have dreamed up this year the level of athleticism and creativity that goes into this contest is what makes it so incredible to watch and you look at Ivy he's a long shot at this point but you never know well we'll just have to see but I personally would love seeing him in the dunk contest 
So that's how things are currently looking for the dunk contest. But of course, we'll update you with the latest news as we receive it. And as this lineup starts to take shape, this event is only getting more and more exciting. The battle of the boards has been something to watch. Harden against Cunningham. Outside Harden. And so it looks like it'll be Philadelphia ball. Philadelphia ball. Every team in the new NBA wants to be on this list. The sharp shooters from three-point range. In third, the 76ers. Instead of just bombing away, they work hard to create good looks from beyond the arc. That'll be a five-second call. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for James Harden. Over the past five games, his assist totals have been slipping. He and his teammates just don't seem to be clicking right now. Hopefully that's something he can correct tonight. Detroit has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Well, the Pistons front office has said they want to have quality character veterans to help balance their roster splitting. What they're doing, B.A., they're building an identity. You need those veteran players to teach the young guys what it takes to be a pro. He's a regular at the free throw line. Burks knows how to put the onus on the officials. The Pistons have been in rebuild mode for a while. They've stockpiled a lot of young talent. This is when things should start to come together. First free throw is good. So, Smitty, you think the Pistons are ready to become the bad boys of the league again? <laughs> B.A., they're not really that kind of team. They're built more around offensive firepower, not the defense and rebounding that was their trademark in the old days. He's off on the second. Philadelphia has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Bogdanovich against Maxi. To the middle. Here's Harold. Soft touch off the glass. Harold's got his first basket. What a great shot. This is why Harold shoots over 60% for his career. The Pistons trailing. Pass to Duran. And here is Burks. And there's the lob. And an emphatic jam on the lob. He is ferocious on alley-oops. With his good hands and wingspan, Duran makes for an easy target on the lob. Now here's Harden. Big-time contributor on offense. Just over 22 points a game. No good from outside. Two-for-one opportunity if they can time it right. Great way to end the quarter. Cunningham passes to Bogdanovich. There's a screen from deep. With the second effort, and that's off the glass and in. And now a three-point Pistons lead. Oh, he'll wear you down with the way he grinds it out on the offensive glass. 17 seconds left in the first half of this game. Cunningham against Harden. Just five on the clock. Fires it. Again, Philadelphia. Yeah, just a smart call by Harden. Using the pick to shake off the defense and get himself a look. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. The Pistons on top, leading by a point. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. All right, thanks so much. I'm here with Dwayne Casey. Coach, are you pleased with the aggression getting downhill? Well, it's one thing we have to do. We have to play with some force, get to the basket, get to the paint. Our paint numbers are off the charts once we get the ball in the paint. And I thought that our guys did it tonight. I hope they can stay in attack mode. Thank you, Coach. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. The Detroit Pistons finding themselves in a closely contested game. You could tell they love playing in front of this crowd. The energy helps fuel this team right now. The sixth man is doing their job, Shaq. Yeah, there's no let up of these fans loyal and loud. And now, something that gets a lot of publicity. Who could be qualifying for the three-point contest? 
There's some great shooters on this list, obviously, man. I wish I could have had a few more cracks at this event, man. I would have loved to take home that trophy. Hey, 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 Jeff. You got the rings, man. That's all that really matters. Rings or the three-point contest? Let me think about that. And that's it for halftime. Thank you for joining us. We send you back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. The Sixers trailing. It's Cunningham and Ivy at the one and the two. Boyan Bogdanovich out there with Isaiah Stewart, and it's Duran in at the five. That's the group for Dwayne Casey starting the second half. Now here's Harden. Back to Embiid. Clock at four. With the fadeaway. The shot no good. And Detroit will go the other way with it. Pass to Ivy. Cunningham, a screen on Maxi. Here's Duran. Cunningham, left side. Over Maxi. Leaps for it, and the ball out of play. The Sixers will have it. And let's jump over to the rookie leaderboard, showing the most efficient scores. And you look at Ivy, a guy who always delivers on offense. Thus far, he's been smart offensively, taking only the good looks, and is showing up in his field goal percentage as well. Harden with it. Second half, getting started, about a minute play. And then Harden with the jam. Oh, you cannot allow Harden this type of positioning because he's going to dunk all over you when you do. And for the Pistons, they're shooting just 35% for the floor. I'll tell you what, a lot can be said about the contract Harden took to stay in Philly. He took less than what he commanded to help the team sign depth and rotation players. A very big gesture from Harden, showing just how much he wants to win in Philly. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Thanks, Brian. James Harden, with plenty of confidence, said, not to brag or anything, but I'm really good at this game. I'm unselfish. I play the right way. I don't try to do anything I can't do or that doesn't benefit our team. And that mindset keeps me in a good place. PA? Very self-assured, Allie. Thank you. Now here's Cunningham. And the layup is good. And now a three-point Detroit lead. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. And he lobs it up. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Down low. Ivy's shot is off. The 76ers have gone just one of three in the second half. Maxi finds Embiid. Bogdanovich against Harris. He got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Slowly but surely, Harris continues to elevate his game. The shooting, the playmaking, the ability to make a difference. Tobias Harris, two shots. off on the first. Bagley's checked in for the Pistons. Hayes comes in for Kate Cunningham. And he's good on the second. For Detroit, they've got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Pass to Stewart. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That one on Harris. Tenacious play from Stewart inside. Putting up the shot all while being fouled. 
It's been so fun to watch the growth of Isaiah Stewart. This is a big man who continues to show impressive strides. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good, and Stewart has quickly become a valuable player in this team's rotation. B.A., I like his hustle on both ends of the floor, and he gets after it on the glass. This guy wants to keep getting more minutes and have more responsibility. And so he makes both from the line. An effective role player, Isaiah Stewart is reliable when it comes to rebounding, and blocking shots. Pass to Harris. And here's Embiid. He's covered by Bagley. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Well, that was clearly a foul. At the line for the sixes. Embiid. Embiid. Joel Embiid. Taking two shots. First one at the line is good. A fun-loving player on and off the court. Embiid continues to get better. One of the league's top big men. And Embiid drops them both. Because he knows he makes a living at the line, he invites contact and sometimes even initiates it. Pass to Stewart. Over Harris. Offensive rebound. Now here's Hayes. Stewart, a screen on Milton. Out to Bagley. Fires the three. Detroit, no good that time either. The 76ers have gone just one of three in the second half. Here's Milton. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And so the ball out of bounds. Bagley touched it last. And we have to take another look at that block. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Both teams deciding to change it up. Here's Milton. Right now contributing around 10 and a half points a game. Niang, that's good. Here in the second half, these teams still neck and neck. I really like how each team is matching the other's intensity. Up top, Burks. Melton covers. Stolen by Melton. The ball's knocked loose. Stolen by Burks. Bay outside. Now Hayes. Checking his stats. He's scoring around nine and a half points per game. Back to Bay. Six to shoot. Two minutes remaining in the third. Pass to Hayes. No good. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Melton finds Milton. Harrell with it. He's covered by Bagley. High post Harrell. Bagley's on him. Here's Melton. From down in the low post, it goes. Melton's got seven points. Talented, driven. He puts constant pressure on your defense. Up top Bay. Back to Hayes. To stop the drought. Drills it from deep. Hayes has got his first three points of the game. You can see the range is there with Killian Hayes. He just has to keep working on being consistent. And Philadelphia calls time here. Fans, give a big round of applause for 
for the 76ers. House, he's checked in for Niang, and Korkmaz is subbed in for Milton. House, Furkan, Korkmaz. One nineteen left in the third quarter. Here's Melton, seven points in the game. Shot clock at six. Pass to Korkmaz. There's the triple. He can't get that one to fall. For Detroit, they've gone three of seven here in this third quarter. And here's Hayes. Bay outside. And he's going for the oop here. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pistons will retain possession. Almost had the steal. You have to love the pressure defense. Fantastic anticipation. He has active hands. Even though he doesn't come away with the turnover, he's disrupting their offensive flow. Duran, he's checked in for the Pistons. Cunningham comes in for Hayes. Tyrese Maxey's checked in for Philadelphia. Harden comes in for Melton. Just four to shoot. Burks passes to Bagley. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. Philadelphia's gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Seven-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Harden. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Cade Cunningham picks that one up. A master of attracting contact. Harden just takes pride in fooling defenders and getting those calls. Harden. James Harden. Two shots. No good on that one. A nightly triple-double threat. Harden's level of creativity and incredible confidence makes him lethal. Good on the second one. You know he wanted to knock down all his shots at the line, but he still did enough to put them in front. Cunningham with the ball. for the lead. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. Three quarters of play and a close one here. Sixers ahead, leading by one. And we're just moments away from the start of quarter number four. Stay with us. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. 
couldn't place it any better. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. The Pistons trailing on the court for Philadelphia to start the fourth. Up front, it's Tucker at the four, next to Embiid in the middle. James Harden out there with Tyrese Maxey. And it's Harris in at the small forward position. Neither team able to build a lead and sustain it. After six lead changes, it feels like it could come down to one big play. The 76ers shooting just 37% so far in this one. Harden against Cunningham. Harden, the pass to Tucker. Back to Harden. Tucker with a screen on Cunningham. Let's it go from 11. Out to Harris. The three. Rebounded by the Pistons. Duran's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Pass to Stewart. Kicks it out to Cunningham. Over to the wing. Here's Ivy. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And Ivy has no fear when it comes to getting inside. He's got a strong frame and doesn't mind taking contact when he has to. For your Pistons, Ivy, two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops the first. And the Pistons making a change here. Bogdanovich is checked in. So he gets them both. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Takes a 13-footer. And another miss by Philadelphia. The Pistons leading. Pass to Cunningham. Here's Duran. Over to the left wing. Here's Ivy. From 15 feet away. And that's good. Off the glass that time. And this is exactly what they want to see from Ivy this summer. Confidence in his jump shot. The consistency necessary to be successful. Now here's Maxi. Shoots. The Sixers again can't hit. Yeah, he's really scrambling to keep them in this game. Gotta respect that hustle. With the drive. Pass to Cunningham. To the right side. Here's Ivy. Maxi covering. Ivy's shot is off. His struggles from the field continue, yet they still hold the lead. Right side, Maxi Shakes him. And that's two points on the layup. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. It's the fourth quarter, and it's a close game. You want to get the ball to someone you can rely on. The Pistons have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Stewart, screen on Maxi. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. Here's Ivy. And Embiid with the block. A menace on the defensive end. Embiid's reach disrupts your offense. Pass to Tucker. Now here's Embiid. He's watched by Cunningham. Embiid against Cunningham. Embiid gets the bucket. And it's now only a one-point Detroit lead. Cunningham against Harden. Knocked loose. And that one's good. Stewart. Isaiah Stewart's confidence has to be off the chain. He knows he can drain big shots. Harden, the pass to Embiid. And here's Harris. 
Embiid inside. Shoots over Duran. Embiid misses. The Pistons have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Harden against Cunningham. Stewart, a screen on Harden. There's Cunningham with a three. The shot off that time. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Harden, the pass to Maxi. Right wing. Three pointer and bead. Rebound Detroit. Duran's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Here's Ivy. Maxi covering. Pass to Stewart. Here's Ivy. Inside. Duran with the bucket. And it's a five point Detroit lead. What an injection of energy from Duran. Working hard to find points for his team. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. To the paint. Here's Embiid. Misses off the right iron. Something's off about him this quarter. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it could result in missing everything. Now here's Cunningham. Offline with a three. You know, we talk a lot about scoring efficiency. He's displaying the exact opposite. Embiid, high post. Blocked! Yeah, anytime you put the ball up near Durham, there's a chance it ends up back in your face. Fires from deep. And it's Cunningham missing. Now here's Tucker. Pass to Maxi. Now here's Embiid. The D's right on him. Out of bounds. It'll be Pistons ball. Burks, he's checked in for the Pistons. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Melton's checked in. Timeout called. The Pistons. They're leading by five. 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter. to hear from Allie LaForce. During that break, Coach Dwayne Casey had some advice for his team. And he said to his guys, quote, let's get a few more stops here and we should be in great shape to close this one out. Keeping it simple, guys. Thank you for that, Allie. seconds left in the final quarter and so they foul intentionally there's 39 seconds left to play in the fourth pass to Duran. Ah! wow crazy good really feels like they're in control they've got a big lead with time dwindling reason why they've tightened up the vice grip a little more 
each time up the floor. We'll see if they can close this one out. Now a timeout call by Philadelphia. They're trailing by seven. 35 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. All right, guys, what do you think? They're going to have to get up a quick shot and then foul immediately. Five seconds left in the fourth. Here's Tucker. The Sixers with another miss. And <laughs> just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Bogdanovich passes to Cunningham. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Five to shoot. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. That one on Harris. He's the kind of player every team is looking for. Cunningham understands both how to move the ball and how to create for himself. K. Cunningham taking two shots. First free throw is good, and that stretches their lead to eight. You know, this team leans on Kay Cunningham for so many things, and he's built to carry the load. And he hits both free throws here, and it's a nine-point game here. There's the knockout blow. No chance of getting up off the canvas now. Milton for three. Unable to get that one. And so it's Detroit with the W. A clean win. And one where they clearly showed better energy. Yes, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence too. And that about wraps it up. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Steve Smith, this is Brian Anderson with our 2K Sports crew signing off. And as we leave, we give you our New Balance player of the game, Jalen Duran.